Hello Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancer, your oracle cards are really interesting tonight, okay? Just take what resonates, you guys. Leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. Um, I kind of just want to jump into this energy, you guys. It's pretty incredible. Um... Okay, where do I begin? You're, it's almost like you're, um, you're receiving the power of all of your ancestors. I'm just going to start there. It's very intense. You're re these are all of your ancestors, and I feel like um, you're inheriting their abilities, okay? And it's making you extremely powerful, okay? Um, there's some haters um, in the background. I feel like these aren't people that you're connected to anymore okay i feel like these are people that you've walked away from ex-friends ex-family just a group of enemies your enemies are now really scared look at you've reduced them to like um page energy okay they may feel powerless that they, these people i feel like they've tried to maybe siphon your energy somehow but your ancestors aren't letting them your ancestors are um, I'm, I'm actually hearing what your ancestors are saying. And they're saying that here, you take the, all, the, all of our abilities. We're going to give you our abilities, Cancer, so that you can be ultra powerful and show your enemies exactly who you are and what you can do and what you're made of. Um, I, I kind of get the sense that, um, yeah, it's almost like, you are super revved up here. Okay, look at look at the lightning coming off of your fingertips. Look at the power that's being sent to your crown chakra. It's affecting all of your other chakras as well. Look at the spiritual protection. Look at the vibes you're giving off, Cancer, like for real. <laughs> Just take a look at the card. Okay, look at the vibes that you're giving off here. And this is the power of all of your ancestors. This is all your ancestors, all these little orbs around you. Okay, you may feel very energized these days. Your um, creative ideas, um, you could be getting ideas that are coming from, it seems like from nowhere. Things that you wouldn't normally think about. Okay, ideas that you wouldn't normally have. That's an ancestor, that's an ancestral energy okay you're like adopting your ancestors energy and i feel like it's to kind of show up your enemies you know because people are grouping together to try to form an alliance to go against you okay people have to group together cancer to try to stop your progress they they have to they have to team up with each other to try to put roadblocks in front of you right um yeah and they can't so uh, here's the thing your ancestors are helping you you're you've either already inherited or gotten some of their energy or some of their skills abilities ideas power strength okay they're giving you all of this um yeah they're giving you what Giving you the best that I got. That's what I just heard. <laughs> um, I don't know who sings that song, though, you guys. Who sings that? We're giving you the best that I got. Um, oh, I don't know who sings that. Please drop, please drop a comment, you guys. Let me know who does that song, okay? Um, oh, who is that? Anyway, Cancer, yeah, the, because your ancestors are doing this for you because they're giving you the power to push forward, number one, okay? They want you to have a victory, number two. And number three, they want to show these people it doesn't matter how many people team up against you, you're going to have this victory, and the roadblocks are going to be removed, okay? Yep, and you, you are moving forward, and they can't stop you, and they can't slow you down. I feel like this is going to feel to you like a huge burst of energy within you. 
And I feel like it's going to take you to a whole new level. That's kind of what the chariot does, right? You level up with the chariot because you're moving forward, having a victory so fast. And I feel like it is meant, this is, your ancestors are doing this for you on purpose to um, basically to um, show these, this group of people, this group of haters, that there's nothing they can do to stop you. Okay, that you have um, power that these people do not understand. They, they don't even understand the kind of power that you're getting. You may not understand it either, Cancer, until you see this video. This seriously is coming from your ancestors. Okay, um, people that you share a bloodline with, royal lineage maybe. This is from... Um, passed on loved ones okay some of your um, abilities that you have already have been passed on through your ancestors passed on to you okay but they're giving you everything everything that's positive and strong about them they're giving to you so you may even start having some really vivid dreams Okay, you could start having, like I said, like ideas coming to you that you wouldn't normally think of. Or you could be like humming a tune or I was doing that yesterday, you guys. Yes, I was out in my garden and I was humming a tune that I had never heard before. But um, it, all of these little synchronicities, they're going to be coming to you from your ancestors. You, you may not understand why you're doing it while you're humming that special tune or while you're, you're having that weird dream or um, how you're getting these interesting ideas or whatever, whatever it is for you. But it, just know it's from your ancestors. They may be, um, you may be guided to like learn something new as well or try something new. You could even have cravings for things, okay? That happened to me the other day too. I don't normally eat fish, and um, I was I was told to have a fish sandwich, and I'm like, well, I don't really eat fish, but okay, it really hit the spot. I feel like um, those little things they're characteristics of your ancestors who came before you, and they're giving you all of their energy here, okay. Um, so that uh, there's other people that are going to be, it's almost like spirit wants, spirit wants to shut this group up or they want this group to be intimidated a bit. They do. They, they want this group to be intimidated and, um, and you're coming across very mysterious because you do, you have this big, huge burst in creativity, productivity, okay, energetically. You're going to, um, you may see your money rise like very quickly, okay? And nothing can stop you, Cancer. Just keep moving forward. You know, all the blockages are being removed. This whole group over here, they're being shut up, okay? Because now they're looking at you like they're whispering about you now, Cancer, but they're saying, oh, geez, Cancer is looking pretty powerful these days. Where did cancer get that burst of energy? Where did cancer get that idea? Where did, how is cancer doing this? Well, because you've got like, let's see, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least eight ancestors are giving you their power, their abilities, um, their uh, creative ideas their inspiration, their strength, their confidence, okay, um, their courage, they're giving you all of this. So you can blow these enemies out of the flipping water. That's why they're doing it. They're actually doing it to shut up your enemies and have them a little bit worried, okay? Yes. I feel like spir um, spirit is showing these people your abilities here. This is past life energy as well with the Six of Cups. These are your spiritual abilities. What's in this cup is, is not just love. It's a, it's a little bit of everything. It's the spiritual lessons that you've learned. It's your faith. 
Um, it's your spirit abilities or um, your psychic abilities, your intuition, whatever telekinetic abilities you may have, any God-given abilities, okay? And I feel like spirit, um, your ancestors are, are filling this cup with their abilities as well. People are freaked out by this. They're starting, these enemies are starting to realize you're a very old soul here, Cancer. I feel like you've had so many lifetimes, okay? You've lived many lifetimes. People are starting to see how, you, like, your wisdom, your power, your strength, your abilities, like, it's pretty undeniable, Especially the way your ancestors are boosting your energy right now. Yeah, these people are feeling like fools. Okay, I feel like they're scared. It just is giving me fear energy. Okay, they're scared. You're making these people scared because they're like whispering amongst themselves now. Well, you know, cancer's really powerful. You shouldn't have messed with cancer, right? And then another one is like, me, what about what you did? How are you blaming this on me? And then another one chimes in, yeah, both of you guys are in trouble. And then somebody else is like, wait a minute, all of you three were talking about cancer together. Like all of them are blaming each other. I feel like they're, um, they're scared. They're jumping around like little jackrabbits. Okay, they're scared. They're jumpy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Cancer, they're jumping around like little jackrabbits, feeling like fools for messing with someone as powerful as you. And you're only getting stronger, okay? You're only getting stronger, and that scares these people. Wow. Yep, so now they're kind of scrambling, right? And I feel like um, they also want to apologize to you, Cancer, but they got, nothing, they got nothing to say. You know why? They know that part of these, um, part of these incredible, I want to say, I, I want to say incredible, amazing abilities that you have is your, your um, psychic abilities, your intuition, which these people are able to witness. Okay, it's undeniable now. Your abilities are undeniable. Your power is undeniable. Okay, to the point where these people are running scared. Okay, um, but I feel like um, I feel like they know that you know who they are. I feel like you you may know who these enemies are. You may know what they've said about you. You could have even mentioned this somewhere, either on a platform or social media. You know exactly what they're thinking. You know what they're saying. You know what they're planning. Like, you're always 10 steps ahead of them. Okay, these people are scared, and they know that they can't just apologize and wash this away. Okay, they're... they're um, they're, they actually don't know if they should make an approach or not. I feel like these people are still just trying to deal with the fact that you're a divine being with special abilities and a whole lot of power, the power of all of your ancestors right now. Okay, you're going to feel it. Yeah, even if I feel like these people know you or at least one or two of them know you, they, they're thinking they should come in and apologize, right? But um, honestly, they, they even know. You already know what these people have done to you, what they've said, what their intentions are, what kind of energy they sent you. And I feel like you're, um, you just don't want to have anything to do with them. They know that. They could be feeling like their karma is coming, okay, because they're messing with the wrong person. They've been messing with the wrong person. They're no longer attacking you, just so you know. These people are no longer attacking you because they're too dang scared, Cancer. Because they know that you're being divinely led. Because they know that you're connected to the divine that you're a divine being, okay? And anything that they do, any kind of spiritual attacks they send you now, 
they know it's going to be returned to them like immediately so yeah they're talking they're still talking about you amongst themselves cancer okay um, they're still trying to plan how do we get our karma to stop oh no we messed with the wrong one I mean imagine imagine them doing whatever they can to bring you down or doing whatever they can to ruin your reputation blame you for stuff mistreat you want to see you um, stuck right in stuck energy doing all that they can only to find out cancer that you're a being from the 5d that you're heaven sent and an earth angel a real live earth angel light worker okay i mean this is like shocking to them and it instantly makes them afraid because you're that close to the divine and spirit literally is sending all of this bad juju that they sent to you they're sending it straight back to these people they know it's coming they know their karma's coming for messing with you. You. Okay? You're the one person that they shouldn't have messed with. I feel like they're going to try to get a message to you um, from someone who is not afraid to approach you. This is someone all up in their ego. Okay? But they're coming in to, like, schmooze you right they've been watching you they may know um how to speak your spiritual language okay they've been studying you i don't know if this could be an ex it could be an ex-friend it's somebody who's a member of this group okay and they're thinking that this person here is is so egotistical um and so like a i just feel like they're kind of a risk taker here that they'll actually be able to come forward and, I don't know, try to relate with you somehow, try to, I don't know, make things better. They're really studying you. They're studying, like, what they can say. I feel like this is someone from this group of haters, you know. I feel like if anybody comes in and messes with you, yeah, look, and even this person all up in their ego... If they try to come back around and try to um, sneak away from getting their karma, trying to schmooze you, right, with the, with the Knight of Cups here, they're going to go down. Nobody's ego is big enough, right? No one's ego is big enough to bring you down. And spirit is not, they're no longer going to allow any, um, any tricks, right? They're not going to allow any trickery. They're not going to allow any more backstabbing. They don't even want these people to be talking about you. Okay? Um, they're not going to allow any more spiritual attacks. They're not going to allow this person to come in and try to apologize things away and maybe even um, gaslight you a little bit. Okay? That's what this person is kind of planning. Nope. They're going to end up walking away carrying all the burdens. A lot more karma and in a whole lot of regret for even trying to approach you with a trick. I'm telling you, Cancer. Oh, my goodness. This is like, I feel like this is the most powerful energy you've ever been in. Okay? Um, like, for real. And it's all the energy, all of the um, gifts and abilities um, you're inheriting them from your ancestors. They're just like giving it to you, okay? You may feel like, um, it almost feels like electrical impulses through your fingers as well. You could possibly feel like some work being done on your chakras as well. Like, whoo, cancer, and there's that earth angel energy. They mess with the wrong one. You don't come up to an earth angel trying to gaslight and schmooze an earth angel. Not at this stage in, in this journey. No, you don't. If these people don't know who you are already, they're going to be fools for trying to trick you now. Absolute fools. Like, 
Yeah, and that's what they're trying to do here. I'm telling you, even this person all up in their ego, they're going to be crushed. That ego is going to be crushed the instant that they go up against you now. So none of these people are allowed to just come back in from your past. Um, at least this isn't going to be for all of you, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Spirit's just not having it anymore. You know, and I feel like you've been put through it, not just in this lifetime, but in others. And you're an old soul with many lifetimes that you've lived. And spirit is sick of watching the earth angels suffer out here. So yeah, cancer, just, um, just be aware if it hasn't already happened, you're about to, um, you're about to get like the strengths and the abilities from your ancestors, okay? And I'm telling you now, it's going to blow these haters right out of the water. It is. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay! Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.